How y'all doing? I'm basically doing this video to put it on record. <sighs> Where I live, your county, and I live on the edge of your county. We had two police shootings in one week. And that was last week when it happened. And the one, the guy tried to take off in his car, drug the cop, the other cop shot him. That one, I'm not even thinking about whatsoever. Week before that shooting, there's a guy in Dover, York County, Dover, York, York, Pennsylvania, Dover, Pennsylvania. Not where they run the cars, it's York County. Some kid, some football hero, Dover Township, Dover, Pennsylvania, never did a damn thing wrong ever, ever. Shot dead by a cop. He was in his mom's garage with his AR-15. And now, I just think about it many times. I've been in my garage at two o'clock in the morning with an AR-15, fixing it, doing something stupid or other guns I have, working on them. Who the hell knows what happened with that? Now, I'm not saying the cop was wrong for shooting this man. I just want to know what's going on. So I called Northern Regional Police Department, and I asked about the officer. I couldn't get the name. I'll tell you what, they show his face. When they finally show their face, I'm going to know it. I'm gonna know it's him or, or it's not him. But I had a problem a while back, and if you look at my YouTube videos, you'll see it. An officer heard me shooting out back, which I was legally allowed to do, and he was parked out front of my house. <clears throat> and I did everything I could to calm that cop down, but he was way out there saying stupid shit, asking me stupid questions. Say he's going to come back with the the game commission. I said, what the fuck does the game commission have to do with me shooting out back? It has nothing to do with it. I ended up calling a superior. I, I, I'm the one that called the damn cops. Because I had a fucking cop out front of the house and he's going fucking nuts. Apparently, he talked to the superior before I got, well, Let's put it this way. They got back to me like two and a half hours later or three hours later. And I could kind of understand, but not. And I told the superior the same thing. He told his superior he was scared for his life. Completely scared for his life. He's parked out in front of my house. Completely scared for his life. Thought I was going to kill him. because I had a magazine in my back pocket. My hands were up the whole time, walking up towards him, asking if he needed something, asking him what I can do to make it better for him, for if he wants to come out back and see what the hell we're doing, see we're all right, see we're legal. He screamed at me and asked a bunch of stupid questions and took off and said he's coming back with the game commission. I called the cops and said, hey, if you guys are coming back, I need to know. He says, no, they're not coming back. But I have to understand that he was scared for his life. And I told his superior, I said, well, if he's scared for his life, what was going on, what I was doing, he should not be a police officer. He's too skittish. I'm wondering, in one of these two shootings, that's have happened in the last week. Was he involved? Now, I met a lot of police officers. The day I did uh, that stupid bump fire stock, one of the Northern Regional showed up. He was a hell of a nice guy, very understanding. Came up, I showed him everything. He even made a joke that he would have wanted to shoot the damn thing.
Only reason I want this on record is because they told me it's not the same guy. But now since I called and complained, am I going to be targeted if it is the same guy? Northern Regional Police Department, York County, Pennsylvania. Well, we'll see what happens. God bless. Bye.